Live from beautiful Oriole Park at Camden Yards, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here and on the hill today, John Mean. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. So just about set. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Enrique Hernandez. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Leading now he has somebody to worry about over at first. The third baseman. Man aboard, Dumping and out. here is Devers. Devers, the baby faced assassin. Nobody out. Runner at first. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. To the right side. Oh, great stop. The throw. Odor. Toss the second. On the first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. And here is Xander Bogarts. He's going, he's the going. Belt fires. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. The one two. And a ball evens the count. I got the count. Two and two. Let's go. Shut him down. To short could be two. Beats the second out there. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. Bottom of the first. And on the mound in this one, Nathan Evaldi. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose in the offense tends to get going so you know you look at an opposing lineup when they see him out there in the mound they know that he's going to compete they don't want to let him settle in they want to try to knock him out get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable we go to the bottom of the first here's the center fielder Cedric Mullins next pitch is outside There's a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And down on strikes, one down. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough that of exactly. it to get the call. And the first tell you what, as a hitter, it oh, starts yeah. out of the zone. It looks really oh, far away. Castle. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. That is true. Anthony Santander at the plate. Anthony Santander. Left hand batter waits. Just oh, off the outside edge.
Left field. Verdugo should have this one. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Batting for the designated hitter, Trey. Trey Mancini, Mancini now. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Next pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. 2-2 two -two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. One left for the Orioles. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go. And now here's the veteran DH, J.D. Martinez. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Next offering is foul back. And a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two now. Here's a high chopper. Gutierrez picks it up. Zips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is it. The left fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. So digging in, Alex Verdugo. Good contact guy, good defender. Ball to strike. Swings and fouls one off. And a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. One down, base is empty. And that one in the air center field. Mullins under it. Puts it away for the out. That is it. The second baseman, Trevor Story. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Second inning here, no score. And a count one and two. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that ends the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back now at Oriole Park. We head to the bottom of the second. And now it's Austin Hayes. And a pitch. Rivaldi, not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. 
Righty delivers. Just missed the inside corner. Two and two. He moves the ball around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. Next one misses. And that's ball three. The wide to kick the pitch. Out there to center. Hernandez settles underneath it. And it's caught for the out. It seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed that nowadays. Exists. Well, exactly. When stop. teams are looking for Number high velocity, 29. high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So in order to really appreciate how good he is, you have to see him. Because if you're just looking at a stat sheet, you might overlook him. And a pitch. Stays alive. Two two now. On the ground, right side slides. He's got it, and that's a great play for the out. Batting seven, the second baseman. Good day. Oh, joy. Two outs, space is empty. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch misses inside. It's two and two. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. On the ground to the left. Whips it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Orioles held in check there. We'll move to the third with no score. We'll rock you next inning. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Now all leave it up. Stays alive. Got him. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Oh, man. Just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box. And it clearly was not that pitch. And now it's Christian Vasquez. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Top of the third, no score. The next offering misses. Two and two. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Next pitch is downstairs. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Hard hit, left side. Fires across the diamond. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Batting none. The right fielder, number 19. Jackie Bradley two outs, base is empty. And next for the Red Sox, Jackie Bradley Jr. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored this guy is a big contributor and that one finds its way through and that extends the inning really nice job staying up the middle with his approach he didn't try to do too much with the pitch just shot it through the infield here's Kike Hernandez and a 1-1 that misses off the outside edge. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. The 2-1. On the ground, right side. 
And that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox, and we are still scoreless. As we go to the last of the third, here's the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Clearly, he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. The wind of the pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. And that one fouled off. This one in the air right field. Bradley on the move towards foul ground. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Batting ninth, the catcher, Robinson. And now the catcher, Chirinos. Robinson Chirinos. Two two now. In the air, right field, Jackie Bradley. Out number two. Now batting, center fielder, Cedric. So the batting order turns over, and now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins, let off the game with a strikeout. Two outs. Next offering misses down and away. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And Ryan Mountcastle with an opportunity to make an impact with two away. But well, when you fall behind in the count, the you've got to come into the zone, six. and then guys have a better oh, yeah. chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now at the plate, Ryan Mountcastle. Next pitch misses, ball three. Kicks and deals. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And the Orioles leave one. Still no score. Back here in Baltimore, and it's Rafael Devers in the box. The one two. And now two and two. I got to count two and two. And the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Chirinos makes the play, and there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed the it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself Andrew. until his next at bat. Okay. Here's the shortstop at the play. Xander Bogarts. He's 0 for 1. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets outs. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Line drive, and that's base hit out into center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Oh, 
dominant performance for him today, Boog. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Here's J.D. Martinez. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck, way back there. And that one's gone. J.D. Martinez takes him deep, and the Red Sox jump in front. It's 2-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Alex Verdugo. And he walked him. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Here's Trevor Story now. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. 3-2 now. And ball four to a board. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out the there. A lot more walks than he's Bobby. used to giving up. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Catcher, Christian Vasquez. Bases loaded, one away. And there's a the ball. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. Man, that looked to be in the strike zone right there. That's a tough one to have go against you and force in a run. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Bradley waits. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Jorge Lopez appears to be getting loose. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. And down on strikes he goes, two out. Here's the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And that one missing low. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. And now the lefty, swing and a miss, and now two and two. And a pitch. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. 
He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. The settings definitely getting away from him. Now the Orioles manager is out of the dugout and he'll make a move to the pen. That's as far as John Means will go and he leaves with the bases loaded so he'll look for some help from his teammate coming in behind him. Coming on for the Orioles Jorge Lopez and he steps right into a bases loaded jam. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Base is full, two gone. And now, Rafael Devers. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. ball four he's walked in a run you get a walk and you get a walk everyone gets a walk Boog. two outs bases loaded and here comes Sander Bogarts he gets a shot right here against the righty and he is elite against right-handed pitching the contact the average and delivers the slug the pitch in for a strike and the counts full not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy to not. Sometimes there makes the catch, and that'll do it. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Red Sox five, and the Orioles nothing. Bottom of the fourth, now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Right-hander kicks deals. Swings through that. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Foul ball, he stays alive. The one two. Cut on and miss, struck him out. Already two gone here in the home four. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just now comes man. down to not no seeing the pitch out of the hand, oh, not there. tracking it into the zone, and then hey. also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss as you did right there. Stepping in, Austin Hayes. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. In the air, out to center. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. New inning getting started. Now it's the DH, JD Martinez. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Count. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Now this is in the air down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The left fielder, number 99. Alex. So stepping in for Boston. Alex Verdugo. High fly ball, right field. Santander has a beat on it. Calls it in, two away. The batter number 10, second baseman, Trevor Story. Two outs, base is empty. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Trevor Story. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. The next offering misses. Now two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Chirinos collects, fires the first, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the shortstop, Ramon Urias. Lifted in the air, right field. Bradley pulls it down, and there's one down. Now batting. The second baseman. Rupnet. Here's the second baseman, Rupnet Odor. Oh, Here's a one-two. And he chases that one. And two away now. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And now I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough man. one. I mean, pretty Kill much man. a perfect strikeout Kill pitch. If it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Kelvin Gutierrez, the next to hit for the Orioles. 0 for 1 so far. And 1 and 2. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. The one two hit weakly on the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. That's the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. It's five nothing. All right we go to the top half of inning number six stepping in the long ball threat Bobby Dahlbeck. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Not close with that one. And it's three and two. This one smacked out to left center. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's now about the process. The he did everything right, right you. there. Nothing to show for that's it. Good. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. So here's Christian Vasquez. Let's go, Kicks and fires. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. A dive, and he can't haul it in. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. 
the right fielder. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Jackie Bradley Jr. up next for the Red Sox. One for two. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missing inside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Righty to the plate. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. That's out number two. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Hernandez. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Next to hit, Enrique Hernandez. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Red Sox 5 and the Orioles nothing. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth. Robinson Chirinos. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, but it's fair. Out of here. He sends it out of here. And they're on the board. It's 5-1. Well, no, this thing was hooking down the line the entire way. We knew it was going to be close, and bam, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to keep his hands inside just enough to keep it fair. Now, here is Cedric Mullins. That's a ball. Next offering upstairs. We got two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Vasquez right there to make the grab. And there's one down. The first baseman, number six, Ryan. Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. The 1-1. One, one. And fouled off. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of Down signs back. of fatigue. The right fielder. Anthony Santander. So two down now, and here is Anthony Santander. Here we go. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Gone into the flag pole. Anthony Santander knocks one out. And they cut into the deficit. It's 5-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. 
Trey Mancini, the next to hit for the Orioles, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Out to short. Bogart fields it cleanly, gathers, and throws to first. Play made, that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 5-2. Back now at Oriole Park. Here's Rafael Devers. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now batting. Shortstop. Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts. And he deals. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. Full count now. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Paul Fry up and throwing. Tate, the right hander, also getting loose. Out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. Now batting the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. And here it comes. J.D. Martinez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Bounced up the middle, and that one finds its way through. And that keeps the inning going. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front is. side, the and the hands just continue Alex. to carry through the middle of the field. And stepping in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. At the belt and fires. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Out of here. He'll circle the bases and they add a couple more. It's 7 2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Trevor's story. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Now batting. Here's a big power threat. Bobby Dahlbeck. Dahlbeck. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Out number three. Two runs for Boston on the home run. It's now a 7-2 ball game. Ryan Brazier into the game. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Number 70, Ryan Brazier. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Movement in the bullpen. Darwin's in Hernandez. The lefty with big swing and missed stuff is getting ready. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a swing and a miss. One away. 
Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. Righty delivers. Inside, Inside just missed. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Dolbeck racing over to make the catch. Now back, second baseman, Rugnet Odor. Two outs, base is empty. Rugnet Odor, the next to hit for the Orioles. Here's a 1-1. There's a strike at the knees. Left hand batter waits. Three two now. Next pitch has popped up. Devers towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. Orioles held in check there. They're down five. It's seven to two. That's all. We'll get next On the mound now, Dylan Tate. And this guy could bring it velocity-wise. Number 55, Dylan. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. The wind and the pitch. That's down and in. The 2 1. And that one fouled off. Got him. And one out now. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. The right fielder, number 19, Jackie Bradley Jr. So up next, Jackie Bradley Jr., one for three. Next pitch is outside. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Ball and a strike. And there's a foul ball. And the next pitch is way outside. And the right-hander deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two gone now. And here is Devers. Raphael. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. And the runner stays where he is. Up the middle, Odor handles the chance. They get the force. That ends the frame. And the Red Sox leave one, but they're still on top, seven to two. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Hirokazu Sawamura. 
and he's Number got a 18, nice lead to work with. Hirokazu Sawamura. Back here at the ballpark, down the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. Now fly ball to right center. Can't get their base hit. Now batting, catcher, Robinson, Gino. So, man aboard, Robinson Chirinos now up to hit. 3 2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go to up pitch when he's Warriors. looking for a swing and miss like that. Fielder. He throws it quite a bit Cedric. and. That's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Strike two. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two out. All well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the, the leadoff single, back-to-back -back -back strikeouts. So Ryan. they haven't been able to move that runner up, Mount get him in the scoring ball. position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Man at first, and now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle, and a count one and two. It's outside. And the 2 2. And that just misses. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Kicks and fires. So now two on and two outs. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. Up the game plan that he's sticking to is just right not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Tied him up inside with that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Two on, two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Orioles strand a couple. They're down five. It's seven to two. Back here in Baltimore, we go to the ninth. It's Xander Bogarts now. That hits the dirt, two and one. And the pitch. And that one upstairs. And a 3-1 on the way. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Down on strikes. Xander Bogart's a little frustrated. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed. Now batting, gets the out. Designated hitter, JD Martinez. JD Martinez stands in. Hey. And now a full count. Got a full count. 3 2. And the pitch. And that's ball four. Perfect. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. He's already homered here in this one. Bad, 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 bad. 
ground ball to the right side. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. The There's nothing down. cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. So digging in, Trevor Story. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. So a new arm out of the now bullpen back. for the Orioles, the Joey season. Crable. Bobby. He comes in with his team trailing Joey. by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Orioles, number 87, Joey Crable. And next for the Red Sox, Bobby Dahlbeck. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The count two and one. And that's outside. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is foul back. And here's a 3-2. That one fouled off. And a pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3-2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. The catcher. So two down. And here's the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Next offering is down low. Bullpen activity starting up now. Paul Fry preparing to come on if needed. Next offering is way upstairs. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. Now batting, right fielder. So two down Jackie now, and Jackie. here is Jackie Bradley Jr. Here comes a pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's going back. Back some more. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Relay throw home. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And it's 11-2. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. P.K. Hernandez. Still stepping in for Boston, Enrique Hernandez. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hayes drifts towards it. And that will end the inning. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Red Sox 11 and the Orioles 2. Welcome back. Bottom nine. And now the DH, Trey Mancini. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. 
Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So, man aboard. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The pitch. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Next pitch is outside. And a base hit right there. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Now Maybe bad. a little out front of the Number pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. And now, Ramon Urias. The pitch. Roll to short, possible two ball. To second, there's one. To Dahlbeck, double play. Now batting, the second baseman, Rugden. Oh, door. Now it's the second baseman, Rugnet Odor. Runner at third, two away. Next pitch, way upstairs. Is just one strike away. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he'll put it away. Ball game. And the Red Sox take this one in a blowout. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you guys save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. 11-2 the final tally for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.